Hey, what's going on guys? Dr. Sean J. Harris here at Generational Wealth Academy. My question for today is, are you driving the train or would you rather be a rider in the caboose? So think about this. If you're in the caboose riding, you're subjected to the whims and the mercy of the conductor. Now the conductor is the leading edge. He's out front being the risk taker. Well, Sean, what happens if the train derails? What's the safest spot on a train during a derailment? Well, it's in the center cars. So typically the, the nose of the train, the uh, uh, engineer as well as the caboose are gonna jump the tracks. The center part is the safest place to, to be on a train wreck. So you may ask, well, why would I wanna conduct the train? Because the risk taker get the biggest rewards. What's the probability of the train derailing? Now, the most safest spot is the middle car, and that's where most people operate their lives. They operate in the middle, but again, you're still subjected to what the conductor decides. He's gonna go which direction the train is gonna go. So, when building your life out, work your way, if you're in the caboose, that's absolutely fine, but work your way through the cars. Make your way up to the uh, front engineer position to be able to conduct the train of your life for your success. So whatever it is you wanna do, you gotta map out a game plan. You know, I just came across a video, uh, I think like two days ago, um, where I spoke. It was like three weeks into the pandemic and I was telling everybody then, just hold on because we're having a slight derailment, but focus on your dream. This, this was the perfect time to build a business, to write a book, to write a course, um, to go out and strike out for success on your own. Because see, the seedbed of every adversity lies a greater opportunity if you have eyes to see, if you have ears to hear and have understanding on what that uh, possibility could be for you. So um, a lot of successes that you see that we're having, a lot of successes that you see a lot of people are having is a result of buckling down then, not getting nervous in the service and just focus and built legacies. We, we've built courses, we've started companies, we've written books, we've had so much success over the last two years because we took advantage of the pandemic. Um, so if you didn't take advantage of it, that's okay. Get back on the saddle, upright your train, put it back on the tracks, write out a vision, write out a goal. See, any plan that you have, if it's not written out, it's just words. You're not gonna hit that goal without having it written down because what it does, it allows you to measure your movements, measure your successes. It lets you know if you're on track, if you need to speed up, if you uh, can have the luxury of slowing down a little bit, but you have to write it down. So, uh, man, we only have 256 days left in 2022. That sounds like a lot of time, but it's not. It's not a lot of time. Uh, time is limited. So, let's go. It's time to go. No time for wasting. Write out a map for your blueprint for success. And um, let's get the job done. Just got finished watching the sunrise. It's a little cloudy now, but that's one thing I love doing is watching sunrises and sunsets from around the globe. That's just something I really enjoy doing. So um, now is the time to be the conductor of your life if you aren't already. And uh, let's get the job done. Okay? Take care, guys. Time is running out. Let's go. Cool.